The topic of this video is determining whether a point is on the graph of an equation. To determine whether a point is on the graph of an equation, replace each x with the x-coordinate, each y with the y-coordinate, and simplify. If the result is a true statement, called an identity, the point is on the graph. If the result is a false statement, called a contradiction, the point is not on the graph. Let's look at two problems. Problem one, the equation is y equals x squared minus the principal square root of x. The points for consideration are two negative two, one four, and four fourteen. All right, great, let's begin. So the directions say that we should replace each x with the x coordinate and each y with the y coordinate. So we're going to have negative two equals two squared minus the square root of 2. Now we simplify. Negative 2 equals 2 squared is 4. And now we have to decide if the left side and the right side are equal. We can do this thoughtfully. For example, I'm going to cover up the square root of 2 for just a moment. We know that these two sides need to be equal. So what number has to be behind this purple post-it to make this true? It would have to be 6. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Is the square root of 2 equal to 6? No. The square root of 36 is equal to 6. So these are not equal to each other. So our conclusion is that the point 2, negative 2 is not on the graph because these are not equal. All right, let's try our next point. 1, 4. Replace each x with 1 and replace the y with 4. 4 equals 1 squared minus the square root of 1. All right. 1 squared is 1. The square root of 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. These are not equal, and therefore the point 1, 4 is not on the graph. All right, third point, 4, 14. So we write 14 equals 4 squared minus the square root of 4. 4 squared is 16. The square root of 4 is 2 and 16 minus 2 is 14. These match. So that tells me that the point 4, 14 is on the graph. That means that it is a solution of the equation. Okay, let's try another problem. New equation new points. The equation we'll try this time is x squared plus y squared equals 9. If you study your equation forms, you will soon learn that this is the equation of a circle. Circles are studied in college algebra. Obviously, we haven't gotten to that topic yet, so you'll learn about that a little later on. Okay, the points that we're asked to examine are negative 3 comma 0, 3 comma 0, and root 3 root 3. Okay, let's begin. We replace each x with the x coordinate, each y with the y coordinate. So we get negative 3 in parentheses squared plus 0 in parentheses squared equals 9. I'm using parentheses because the variables that I'm replacing both have exponents. Okay, so negative 3 squared is 9, 0 squared is 0, and 9 plus 0 is 9, so the left side and the right side match. So I conclude that negative 3, 0 is a solution. 
Let's try our next point. Replacing all x's with 3 and all y's with 0, we get 3 squared plus 0 squared equals 9. 9 plus 0 equals 9. 9 equals 9. Once again, we get a true statement. So 3 comma 0 is a solution. Final point. Both x and y are going to be replaced with root 3. So I get root 3 squared plus root 3 squared equals 9. The square and the square root cancel, and I get just 3. 3 plus 3 is 6, and 6 does not equal 9. Therefore, the conclusion is that root 3 root 3 is not a solution. If we were to graph this circle, it would go through this point and this point, but not this point.